everyone welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since i did any videos a long while but today i give you a little look here as you can see my front room it's a nice mess uh we have christmas ornaments that we just took down headphones from the kids just regular mess um so i'm gonna be cleaning that up today and i thought i would come on here because bring it over here i got this um cyclonic stick vacuum and this came from aldi's so let me move this have you all seen these these are the doug and melissa i think it's called the little um cleaning tool these are my daughters she loves to use those and help me clean up here mama you want to put it away all right so here is the vacuum um i got it because i had seen some vacuums at um let me move this out so i'm gonna get closer uh where did i see the vacuums i saw them at um target and also walmart and then that's garbage mama and then i think bj's too but anyway they weren't this cheap um all the other ones were over a hundred dollars this one was 79 and um when i saw it in the sales paper um for all these weekly sales papers that they do i'm gonna do this one separate mama but i'm gonna show them that one too um I got another something that I'm going to do in a separate video. She just brought it to me. But anyway, so yeah, I did see it in those other places, but this is the cheapest I've seen it. So I saw it in all these weekly ads. Um, I always check them online. And when I saw this, plus one other item, um, I had my husband go over and get it. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it says, um, let me see. Because uh, I'll put the stats up so you can see it, but it says washable filter, rechargeable, indirect light for charging level, or excuse me, indicator light for charging level, and dirt container that holds 23 ounces. So the brand is Easy Home. And I think. Okay, Mama, nobody wants to see the dirty sock. Put it in dirty clothes. I think this one, this brand, is the same brand of housewares, or however you describe it, um, that Aldi's has. Because if you ever shop at Aldi's, there is a section that has non-food items that changes from week to week. Um, it changes with the seasons and stuff like that. So anyway, I always check that. So if you shop at Aldi's or if you're thinking about shopping at Aldi's, I would take a look through that section because you find some really good things. This is how it is in the package. Um, I just took, just took it out the box. So this is what we have in here. And I'll take out the pieces, show you closer. So we have, of course, the manual. Um, typical stuff, all the parts, pieces, all that jazz. So we have that. And this, another best. This is from my Etsy shop. I have some pieces that I was working on. So I just have stuff everywhere. But all right, back to this. So here's one of the pieces. Uh, so you have this part. I'm just gonna put the plastic in here. I did not expect it to be in this many pieces, but um, we'll see how quickly it is to assemble. I do know the one thing about it. Um, so here's the actual vacuum head. So I do know um, that it has a docking station that can be ha um, hung on the wall um, as far as like, I guess where it would hang up when it's charging. Um, but I don't put holes in the wall, so I don't think I'm gonna hang it. Anything around the apartment that I have on the wall, and I do have a lot of stuff on the walls, I use those um, those three three M command strips. Um, they have ones that hold up to seven pounds of weight. So anything, whether it's pictures or flowers, 
not flowers, pictures or plants or anything that I hang on the wall. Um, I do use those. So this looks like the top part and the little compartment to catch the dirt um, and all of that. It's pretty heavy. So I don't think um, what I was thinking of using to hook it on the wall is gonna work. So I'm just not gonna hook it on the wall. I'll put it, I'll probably keep it, um, keep it in our coat closet. And yeah, that's probably where I'll keep it. You can put that in the sink, mama. Got the brush. So I guess it looks like a couple different attachments. This is a smaller little brush thing. And the charging cord is right here. And then this is what I was talking about as far as like with the bracket. Cause it was a, a piece and there's another piece down there to hook it on the wall so it can like hang up there. But again, I'm not gonna do that part. I'll just toss that over there. And this is a couple of screws, which we'll see which is for. Okay, so that is everything out of the box. So I'm gonna put this over here and I'm going to um I'm gonna put it together. So I'm looking at the back of back of the box here. And you guys can see. And it does show like all the different parts. So this part was the wall mount, um, the not long nozzle, a brush nozzle, large brush nozzle, small brush nozzle, uh floor nozzle, and um oh that little piece was the nozzle holder. So that's not the piece that actually goes on the wall. This is the piece that would go on the wall. Um, so there's that, and then you can see, you know, how it'll look once it's all assembled. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it assembled, and then I'm gonna show you guys um, what it looks like after it's all put together. assembly instructions it says it has a section about charging the battery which this is good because i was hoping i wouldn't have to prop anything up but there's a way to charge the vacuum using um this wall mount here after it's drilled into the wall but there's also a way to directly charge the um the vacuum cleaner by just plugging it into the vacuum so that's good because again i'm not going to be hanging it on the wall so that is good to know. Okay. So the part that says the package Content. So the thing is, this is the part that's supposed to be telling you how to put it together. So, okay, then.
not super heavy, but it's like I said, it's heavy enough that I won't um I won't hang it using my my command strip deal. So this is the front of the top part. This is the back. This is the part right here that I was showing that would attach to the wall mount where it would charge from. Go over there, mama. And then here's the front. You have the filter in there. Then you have the brush at the bottom. So um, it was, once I figured out where I should be looking to put it together, because this book is, have a, has a lot of stuff in it except for like the step-by-step -step directions. But it was pretty simple once I realized where to put it into place. So it worked well with that. Um, it has troubleshooting stuff in here, of course. And then it also has the form for the warranty. Now I'm, I'm bad with these. I always forget to um, submit the warranty card. So I'm gonna try to make sure I actually do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this charge and then I'll come back and let you know how long it took. Wait a minute, how long it took to um I'm gonna give you your here, you want your unicorn? Here you go. Um, so I am gonna charge it fully. I'll come back, let you all know how long it took for it to charge, and then um I'll probably show you know me testing it out or what have you. So there that is. This is again the easy home cleaning cordless cyclonic stick vacuum. Um and so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged in, and we'll see how long it takes to charge. All right, so as you can see where I had it propped here, it's still charging. Um, you can see two are full, and only that third is blinking. I read more into the directions, and it said, number one, it said it would take four hours to fully charge. It's been charging for about two and a half hours so far, um, and it's up to just waiting for the last one to fill up. So I'm not sure how much longer it'll take, but I just wanted to come back and show you um, how much is charged up until this point. And then also it said to not leave it continuously plugged in and only charge it once the battery um, is like completely low or whatever. And then also you can't use it while it's plugged in, which the cord is so short, you wouldn't be able to anyway, and that would defeat the purpose of it being cordless. Um, but yeah, this is where I got it to um to charge at this point it's going to show you it because i was sitting on the floor last time uh, so there it goes i'm gonna let it keep charging so it's completely full and then um if you want to see it in use or see um you know what type of suction or whatever it has you can check out my clean with me video where i'm going to tackle this mess here um and then be able to see how it works so again thank you for watching and this is my little review on the cordless stand um vacuum easy home brand and it again is from aldi's